Hi everybody! Just wanted to start out this video by letting you know that I love this bag. Do 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 do. It's the chi it's the Mofenga Chibi Chi bag, and I prefer it over the Moyu one because it's thicker. This way, in terms of depth, it's thicker. It's taller than the other one, so you can like put this cube in there because in the moyu bag this cube is too big for it you know it's the little things and also on the inside they got this sideways pocket so this is some chapstick and some lube in there um oh take a tour of my bag here's what it looks like i got a couple of pens i've got some kilomix tips in there for me that i've been that i worked on for my last layer so i've been uh getting better at that um Kilomix Star is actually tricky for me still, but um, see this pocket is sideways rather than going um, vertically or uh, technically if the bag was the way it's supposed to be, whatever. Instead of going this way like the Moyu bag does so my stuff would constantly fall out. So I might give away that, that bag at Cube Club toward the end of the year. Um, and then it's also got this inner pocket right here, which um, cannot fit the stack mat in with the timer. So I see I got a timer in there and I got some cubes in here and then this and then there's some netting here. So there's some webbing and then a nice handle. The handle sturdier than on the Moyu one. So I prefer this one. Spend the extra money on and get this one. All right. So let's see. Overland Park is tomorrow and I'm going to be leaving. It's The venue is three hours and three minutes away, so I'm going to be leaving at 4.50 in the morning. Oh, come on, you know, how to get there. Hit it because feet is at eight. <laughs> and for feet, uh, let's see, my, my records for feet are four minutes and 38 seconds. I was so nervous, even though in, when I practice, I can get a 237, you know, like when I'm relaxed or whatever, but, oh, so nervous, I had such a bad solve, but I got a black plastic um, Chi Big Sale. I tried the 6.0, but it was still a little bit too small. I like, kind of like this bigger one here, so. so that's what I'm gonna use, and I hope to get a 230. And the method, I'm still having trouble with OLL and PLL on feet, so. Because I would like to do this in Paris if I can actually get out there. I did replace, get my car replaced. So last weekend I was up in Minnesota driving another car down here. Same same car, just newer, less miles. And so now I'm in the process of trying to get rid of my old car, my old Jaguar. So, but the new one's great, and I'm ready to psh, over the park. All right, then after feet, so two thirty and feet. And then skew, you get 30 seconds soft, 130 hard. Um, my skew average is 11, so 11.86, so it'd be nice to get a 10, 10 average in skew. And I got a single 6.99, so it'd be nice to get, you know, a 6, <laughs> 6 I'm not fast on skew. Get a lucky, get a lucky four second solve. And be like, oh cool, that's what uh, Tyler Robinson feels like. <laughs> He's a fast skewer. Okay. Next, they have two by two. My oh, oh yeah, scoop. What do I use for scoop? I use the um, white plastic. This is something I use with white plastic. is a, Is the magnetic scoop? I like this one a lot. Um, I got uh, some other. I got two other Moyu scoops for backup that are magnetic. One stickerless, and the other one is that clear plastic one. And and uh, Walker let a kid use his transparent pyraminx at at Iowa State. And so give your transparent cubes a shot at your next competition and try to use them. <laughs> They'll let them through. They're, I guess they're, you know, whatever. The delegates are, you know, letting them slide through. All right. Two by two. I got a seven average, seven point one average in, in two by two. So it'd be really nice to get uh, a high six because that's what I've been averaging in practice, you know, without that much practice. And then I got a four sixty nine single with Kale Shoot's dad. It was very exciting. That was pretty epic. So it would be nice to get a four five. I'm not fast on two by twos, and I guess I should have better goals. What am I using? I'm using the coffee colored Tang Po. That's what I'm using. Um, backups. I got the Guoguan and I got, well, let's see, that's, um, got, what should we call it? Plastic. Primary plastic. And, um, I have, uh, I have that Chufang one. 
the the chewing one in black plastic and both of them it's whatever but i'm most likely going to use this i actually really like the um the the chi stickerless s um two by two the the chi d I, I took I took I got two of them ordered to the school. They were gone, you know, gone that day. So I got to order some more, and they're really cheap on the cubicle right now. And I should really should be taking advantage of that because I know the rest of them all, you know, I'll be able to move the rest of them, and I would at least have one for myself because I like them a lot, and I'd, I'd rather have that as my backup main and probably my main even over the tank pole. And the tank pole is nice, real flexible, and everything. Um, all right. And then on the schedule is three by three. So that's kind of cool. They got cube, two by two, three by three. And for three by three, I am actually going to use, um, yeah, this, this uh, magnetic uh, GTS V1 uh, set up by Cube Depot. It's, it's really awesome. And whenever, and whenever somebody uses it, they always want it really badly and they, and they start to start, they start to negotiate prices on them with me. So that's kind of funny. And then for my backup, I'm just going to use my, um, my Volk M. Yeah, my, my Volcam set up by the cubicle. It was before they started using super glue, so I have epoxy in this one, so and you can smell the epoxy in there. <laughs> they were like, yeah, I was, I was having people smell, they were like, oh, it's just, oh, it's like, oh, it smells like gasoline. Like, oh my gosh, why would the cubicle do this to me? But they did. Yeah. You know what? Hug cubicle. Mm. All right. What's on the schedule after that? After a three by three, I didn't even talk about what, I'm, what I want to do in three by three. Well, let's see. I got a 10 minute time limit. <laughs> so anyway, what am I, what am I, what's my uh, three by three record? I got a 20.86 average. So it's interesting how I got a 0 0.86, 0 0.86 in Skew and, and uh, Rubik's. And um, so it'd be really nice to get my first sub 20 average. But I just, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I really need to put it more intention into planning my cross more, you know, instead of like, instead of being like, Let's just see what happens. Never tell yourself, let's just see what happens before a solve. Like literally just plan, make a plan. Even if it's like two moves, three moves, <laughs> you know, if that's all you can do. Just make just plan some moves. Don't just dive in there. Like hopefully some stuff will work out. So I need to make sure that I'm planning <laughs> so that, I mean, and if I do that and if I, you know, and if I turn slowly enough because you start to, you know, it's like your heart, you know, it's like you feel this like a uh, sort of a, uh, you know, thing where you suddenly start rushing and oh, your muscles and oh, and then you just start locking up and then you mess up because you're trying to do something so bad when you know you need to not be trying to do something so bad and for me for me with three by three I have to at least do 10 solves to, to do any good solves after that you know or else I'm just basically going in blind so <clears throat> 10 warm-up solves, please, if I could get them. Because, you know, it's like a jump on staff. I'm suddenly, like, judging, you know, because they're getting started. It's like, let's get this thing started. And then I don't get any practice. And I'm like, oh, I need some practice. Like, what am I going to do? You know, and then and then my times are like 25. Ah! <laughs> you know, it's like, no, that's not why I came down here. <laughs> I didn't come down here to, to solve a damn thing that slowly. Oh, <laughs> it's like I'm trying to I'm trying to break PBs, but you need to not also pressure yourself to get those PBs like that so hard. So my single, my single, is, you know, I really thought that my 16 point something single, what was it? That Mars mix up my 16, six, five single would be broken, but I broke it at my next competition at K-Cubing, 14.64, that's crazy. I mean, all I can hope for is a 14.63 because I'm not fast at three by three anymore, but I shouldn't even use using that negative talk because you know, those solves happen and that day it did. And that is my overall PB, my overall PB. I think I'm gonna leave my GANS Air UM at home today, I mean, tomorrow. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to bring my whole cube collection or anything. Something is telling me like, oh, bring all of your cubes. You know, it's kind of fun to pull them all off the shelf and put them back up again and see what sort of trades you can make and stuff. But I don't know what kind of time I'm going to have, you know, but it's like three hour drive. You really want to make it worth it. You know, it's like bring your stuff and, you know, have fun. Uh, let's see. Then I then I'm doing four by four and Kilominx. So four by four. Um, I'm I'm working on it. I got to sub two average at my last cop actually um for some reason it's not going so good in pro with practicing but for some reason when in competition the when the pressure's on and stuff 
it's like I'm able to do better. Um, like this, like my single is a 147. Maybe I can get a 145. I mean, sorry, I'm not sorry. I don't have high expectations. Like I'm going to get down to like a 115. You never know. I'm sure it could happen. What am I using? I love, I love the, I love this, um, uh, the, the budget cheat and the, and the expensive one. Those, my, those are my, like, I'm, I've got the windows covering up here. Like, you know, I'm, Never mind. But yeah, I like the super shiny one that's got the bright colors, that's got the vault colors, which I, the only reason I don't like the vault colors is because of the green. So like on Instagram, um, Cameron was selling those, uh, those, those, um, stickerless Vault M set up by him. And then the box was all custom and everything for the, what was it the French Cuber, Russian Cuber that got the the fast time? You know, these like eight seconds. Well, how how much fast was it? It was a four nine, four. I don't know, eight something like that. So, but so so they set up um, some some vaults like that. But I just don't like the colors. Um, these colors, I don't. So I don't like. So I had the three by three, but I got rid of it because I didn't like the colors. But I do like the colors and the feel of of the you know with the with the pinkish reddish you know what it means it looks horrible in my camera because i'm not into technology or anything but but yeah i really like it and my and this is actually the one um that my student that my student ordered and he'd been so it's pretty well broken in simply because he was he was breaking in because i bought one for myself and it was all stiff and everything so i so i was like hey let's trade cubes trading kid trading cubes with your students and of course you know i got the shang Xiao, uh kilominx and my goal for kilominx is to Oh, what, what, what was my time on it at, at mix up? Because I was just like, well, let's just see what happened. You know, and it's like, and then it turns into like a 140, you know. I'd really like to get, you know, one minute average. I don't, what's the, what's, what's the cutoff for that? See, 130. Uh, most of my solves are one, under 130, unless I really kind of screw up and then, and then I get a, like a 136 or something. But, but yeah, that's, this is, this is good. All right. Anyway, this video is getting long, 12 minutes. Um... I got a lot to do. I got a lot to get ready for. And I'll see you at Overland Park. Bye.